let's go ahead and do Cletus the Clown. Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh, oh yeah! Oh no, I love it. <laughs> okay. Um, so, why don't you tell me a little bit about Cletus the Clown? Tell me sort of like his personality, appearance, and everything that's going on with him. Okay, so I am only about a quarter through the reading I want to do to finalize the character because sure. I'm trying to go through all of Herman Fuller's, and you know how that's going to be. Oh no, yeah, that's I, I'm in our uh, campaign. I'm currently like trying to wrap up our Herman Fuller arc, so yeah, it's long. I try to read as much as I can, but I sort of just accepted that I can't do it all. <laughs> Well, at this point, you might know a little more than me then, so feel free to chime in if something I'm saying doesn't sound right. I might have more of my own headcanon than you. That might be about it, though. <laughs> Fair. So for me, Cletus is a crotchety old, uh, crotchety old clown. When he deals with Herman Fuller's people because it's in the camp, he's a lot more heart of gold. And when he's dealing with any other faction, he's a little more suspicious. The two other named clowns that I know, Eugene and Pius. Eugene and Pius got stuck in the Ikea before in the tale, Your Call is Very Important to Us. Uh, the two of them got stuck here with their trans-dimensional clown car. And <laughs> uh, normally they would get out by using their kaleidoscope keys that open a door to another universe in whatever door you use. But that particular time they were in the Ikea, they couldn't find a single door. Not to a staff room or a restroom or anything, just not even a door. So they were under attack, and they had to use their keys on the door of the car, meaning they had to leave the car behind to escape. Not exactly the same situation for me in this case. Cool. So, Cletus the Clown. You are a clown at Herman Fuller's Circus of the Disquieting. You have several clown friends and other circus performers at said circus, and you do your best to uh, sort of protect each other from day to day and uh, try to not get too involved with other organizations like SCP and falling into any sort of uh, traps that they might have. But when you arrive at a new town, as your circus tends to do, being a traveling circus popping up from town to town, you are brought nearby a Ikea store. And while you are at the circus here, you overhear two of your clown buddies, uh, Eugene and Pius, talking about, oh man, yeah, they have the best, the best meatballs. But I'd never go back there again. That was hell. Yeah, they, they really were good, right? But not not worth it. So you're walking up to them here and tales of these magnificent magnificent meatballs that you can get at ikea just how good are these meatballs how good are we talking i mean on a scale of one to delicious at least at least a 9.5 i mean unless you went to actual sweden and got some actual authentic ikea meatballs i feel like that'd probably be a 10 what do you think, Eugene? Yeah, I think I agree with that. That sounds about right. 9.5, maybe a 9.6 even. And I tell you what, if I if we're talking about getting meatballs and they're as good as you say they are, and I don't have to deal with those creepy blonde hair, blue-eyed Swedes, I'm going to the IKEA instead. Oh, uh, this is not a, a good one. Let, let's wait until we uh get get to a, a different IKEA. I, this one uh we had a pretty bad experience at. It's uh sort of infinite. Yeah, like, uh, like, infinite. Like, infinitely large. Like, you will probably get lost. We were lucky to get out of there. We're, we're clowns in a traveling circus with magic and monsters. And that's the craziest thing y'all have ever said. Uh, I mean, there's, like, actual magic here, too. I, I mean, yeah, infinite is, is pretty infinite, huh? Yeah, it, infinite is infinite. For sure. I'll just nip right in and out. But those meatballs, though, man. Almost worth it. Probably not. I'll be back in a jiff. I'm gonna get me some snacks. Alright, enjoy. I'm sure it's like some popcorn or something. Definitely not some meatballs, right? Right, right. 
Definitely not some meatballs. Wink. Why did, why did he wink? That seems like a pretty bad wink. So, Cletus the Clown starts marching off. He uh, hops onto his, like, clown bike and starts pedaling off towards uh, the nearby Ikea store. Uh, the bike doesn't, like, have any pedals or anything. He's just, like, miming the pedaling, but it's still moving. Whoosh! Whoosh! <laughs> So uh, you start pedaling up to the Ikea here, and as you are getting closer and closer, you are stopped by some individuals who are dressed in, like, some security detail garb. They're just like, hey, 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 hey. No, you can't. You, you go, go on back to the circus. Uh, the, the Ikea's closed. It's under, under construction. Hmm. Under construction, you say? Yeah, can't you see all the, oh, well, I guess the scaffolding just got brought down yesterday, but, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's under construction. Go ahead and head on back. Hmm. What is it that they used, what is it that blonde lady said at that last Walmart? Oh, um, <clears throat> let me talk to your manager. Um. I want to manipulate him into going to his manager. And therefore, <laughs> being out of my eyesight long enough for me to sneak by. <laughs> okay, uh, go ahead and roll uh, to manipulate a person. Uh, add your charm to that. All right. I just rolled a 13 to manipulate. Oh, goodness. Yeah, he's manipulated. Uh, I, I think that he's dealt with one too many Karens in his time. So he's just like, you know, I'm not I'm not in a mood to deal with it today. So he just turns around and starts marching to get uh, the supervisor and tells the other guy uh, who walked up there with him. Uh, there were two guards there. He tells him to just stay and watch over you. And uh, he walks off towards uh, a, a small like trailer building that's off to the side to go get somebody. So now I'm dealing with one guard instead of two. Mm hmm If you're a magical clown, or I guess your clown might know some magic tricks or maybe picked up some magic tricks from somebody, I, I imagine like maybe the old sniff the flower trick, but it has uh, some sleeping gas in it or something. Uh, what, what would you do to get by him, maybe? Well, I'm looking, at my, uh, I'm looking at my sharp, and my sharp is zero, so I'm not the cleverest at reading the situation. <laughs> so. I was, I, were I a smarter man, I, were I a smarter clown, I would probably see if there's anybody else in between me and the door before I make my move, but since I'm not going to do that, I am going to reach into my clown pants and see what I pull out to deal with uh, <laughs> this singular guard, and based on just the random idea I pull out here, I was going to go with the uh, joke frying pan. <laughs> Bong! Okay, joke frying pan. Uh, yeah, so he's he like turns as the other guy walks off uh, to go check up on his manager and go get someone to come over. Uh, and as he's turning back around, just immediately bong right on his forehead. And I think since your uh, last roll was a thirteen, we'll just lump it into this. You do well. He's knocked out. And uh, as you look up to see if there is anyone in between you and the store. Open field. Pedal to the not metal. <laughs> you violently start pedaling the air as you sit back on top of your bike and you zoom, zoom, zoom towards the store. You throw open the first door that you can find. And uh, do you bring your bike with you? Or do you like tie it up with a uh, invisible like bike lock or something? You just gave me an idea to look at real quick because I'm okay. thinking... Ikea's have automatic doors. That is a sliding uh -huh. glass door. And so <laughs> what I, the action scene I just imagined is that I, after I bong this guy, the pedaling is like Scooby-Doo in the air. <laughs> and I'm going straight in the doors, which are going to open. But because I am going too fast, my handlebars get stuck on either side of the door. And I am jettisoned off of my bike into the store. <laughs> yep, that's, <laughs> that's exactly what happens. Yahoo! <laughs> Cletus goes flying into the store. You uh, do sort of like a face plant into the ground. Uh, 
and you peel your face up off of the ground and uh, look up around you and you see that you are in uh, Ikea. You have just plopped yourself uh, into a wondrous scene. There are uh, aisles and rows and rows upon different furniture throughout this area, but you don't see any uh, meatballs just yet. You'll have to look around for them a little bit. But there's so much different furniture here, and I don't know that uh, being at the circus, you get to see too much furniture all that often having to be super mobile. So a lot of this stuff may look fairly new to you. You've probably not seen a kitchen set in a long time or maybe ever since joining the circus. Uh, But yeah, uh, what does Cletus do here? I would like to see if there is a map. Uh, you... (laughs) Normally in the front door, there are maps. (laughs) They have a nice little Ikea stand that says, All right, you are here. (laughs) That's fair. And I will tell you now that my intention is, if there is a map, I am going to read that map upside down and comically walk (laughs) the entirely wrong direction. Yeah, let's let's just do that. So you are able to find like a little kiosk area that uh, is nearby the door. Uh, you grab a map and it unfolds. And as you start to unfold it, it keeps unfolding. But you see like a little <laughs> star of where you're at. And you could see like there's a section that says like meatballs question mark <laughs> on the map. So you could start walking in that direction. But as you unfold the map, it's sort of as you unfold it each time keeps unfolding and I, I did can not unfold even, it more I and d- more <laughs> i didn't even think that there would be an infinite map that's hilarious <laughs> <laughs> cletus squints at the uh wingspan length map that he has unfolded <laughs> and he's just holding it above his head at a 45 degree angle like where the hell are the meatballs <laughs> There's no, like, north, south, east, west uh, compass rows or anything on this. You can sort of just see, like, generally, you're here and meatballs might be th- that way? Oh, my God. This is Ikea. There aren't even words on this map. Everything's written in that strange Swedish gibberish. It so is I, all in Swedish, yes. <laughs> I'm just sitting here with my nose wearing this map like a mask, moving my head around trying to find <laughs> up or down. So yeah, you're uh, you're walking through here, and you eventually just sort of try to look up from the map, and then you turn back around, and I don't think that was where you came from, or did you come from the other way? Well, now you're thoroughly lost. Cletus takes his takes the map in his hands, looks around, realizes the door's gone, realizes that he has no idea how far he has walked, and crumbles up the map angrily. Ah, con it! Darn dang it! Ah. <laughs> and then he opens up his clown senses. I am going to try. <laughs> I am going to try and sniff for meatballs, and again try to do a Scooby Doo, and maybe start floating the right direction. Can I smell okay. meatballs? F- yeah, roll plus weird. <laughs> That's definitely a plus weird one. I feel like. All right, we are rolling weird. That is a twelve. To roll meatball smelling. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, okay, yeah, you're able to sort of like, you were pretty lost before, and by following the map, you had gotten turned around and didn't know exactly where you were going. But you uh, are able to sort of key in like a compass uh, pointing north uh, in the direction of where the nearest meatballs are. So you start walking through uh, the different... Uh, what I guess sets of uh, furniture, uh, like the kitchen area and through the bedding area until you reach a door that you're able to open and it opens up into the warehouse section of the I- infinite Ikea. And as you step into here, your meatball sensor sort of points in multiple directions. You could try to go whichever way you want to try to go and find uh, some meatballs for yourself. There's off, like, uh, front right, we'll say, is the strongest sense you get. So uh, you start heading off in that direction. Circus. Meatballs. Perfect. Uh, So you're trucking along uh, as you are heading 
towards uh, the nearest meatballs that you can find, uh, you're not able to get a good sense of how far away they are necessarily, but you have a good read on a, a general direction you need to head to get to the nearest one. Uh, and you walk and walk and walk, and it starts to get sort of late in the day, and eventually the lights uh, that are here at the very top of the ceiling that is extremely high, it's a very high vaulted ceiling, uh, the lights that are dangling from them turn off. The area around you is now illuminated with just a dull red glow from some security lights. Completely unfazed. Dark now. Circus. As you uh, are continuing along, you keep trekking on for a while, and eventually you hear a voice behind you of what you assume is probably like an Ikea Workers say, the store is now closed. Please exit the building. I'm going to wheel around and I'm going to start to say, now look, I came here to get some meatballs and y'all shouldn't have put them so far away and I'm not leaving until I get my what the hell. The figure uh, starting towards you is oddly short. They are about like two feet tall. But what you know of the Ikea stores in general, you know that their theme is uh, yellow and blue. You see that this figure is humanoid in shape, wearing a yellow and blue pinstriped shirt with some blue pants as well. Uh, but they are not exactly human. They don't have a face or any discernible features. The skin that wraps around it is not even skin. It sort of just appears to be a shriveled, dull fabric, perhaps. There is no hair that covers this creature either, and it continues walking towards you at what would be a quick pace, but since its legs are quite short from being about two feet tall, uh, is slightly slower than your speed walking pace. It again says, The store is now closed. Please exit the building. Well, you're a weird little majigger, aren't you? Do you know where I can get some meatballs? It reaches its hands out towards you and tries to grab onto you. Uh, and again says, The store is now closed. Please exit the building. All right, so I feel like at this point, if it's trying to... I, I have now foolishly let it get close enough because I do not have any fear or com or idea of what's going on. I feel like what I have to do now is roll against a grapple. <laughs> okay. This would then be uh, an act under pressure to escape their grasp. All right. So, and that is my negative one. So I do not act under pressure. Mm -hmm. Let's roll. <laughs> Whoo! There's my bad roll of the day. There's, I got a five to escape. Ooh. Okay, yeah, so uh, this creature that has now walked up upon you uh, grabs onto your arm and begins to squeeze tightly, uh, but it grabbed onto, uh, let's say that you're a clown, you have a goofy fake arm that you were holding out in front of you <laughs> somewhat cautiously. Uh, it grabs onto it and yanks, uh, and it then lashes out at you. Uh, take one point of harm. And you now realize that this thing is, whatever it is, pretty hostile towards you. Ah, oh, a wise guy, huh? All right. All right, so now it's time to kick some ass. <laughs> All right, uh, how are you kicking ass on him? I, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do round two. Let's get the big old frying pan out and see how effective that is. <laughs> All right, go for it. All right, gonna roll some dice. And... I got a nine to bonk him on the noggin. Okay. Uh, so you're able to bonk it, uh, and as you hit it, it uh, scratches at you again, uh, take another point of harm, but you are able to pretty effectively just bonk it, and it falls to the ground uh, motionless. And you hear off in the distance uh, footsteps approaching towards you, and uh, through the dim light, you're able to see that another Ikea employee is approaching you, but it seems to be quite a bit taller than the last one. It's not two feet, but 
sort of in the opposite direction of height, it is closer to eight. And it's heading in your direction uh, after hearing the loud bonk from your frying pan. Well, you're going to have to excuse me. I, I left my grandmother in the oven. Bye! And I'm going to flee. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, you go ahead and run uh, in the opposite direction. The uh, other one that was chasing after you sort of stops to uh, inspect the body of the two-foot-tall one, uh, and you're able to lose it uh, in between the different shelves. You're continuing to run generally in the direction of uh, where you smelled the meatballs previously, but you sort of lost focus, and now you got a little bit turned around. Um, and you see nearby a flare is shot into the air. You take a big whiff of air and smell that there's some meatballs in that direction. And Cletus the Clown heads off towards the flare. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs>